age sex pyramids. Age sex pyramids are also called population pyramids and are used to provide a visual presentation of demographic data or data on human population. Consider a country like Russia, which is the largest in the world. Russia has the same population as Nigeria, even though Nigeria is 16 times smaller. However, this similarity is changing because one population is growing while the other is declining. So, what do you think will happen to the two countries in the next 50 years? You see, population statistics are some of the most important data social scientists and policy experts have to work with. But understanding a country's population dynamics and making accurate predictions requires knowing and not just the total size of the population, but the internal characteristics such as age and gender distribution. One way that demographers represent the internal distribution of a population is the population pyramid. Here, the data is divided into gender with females on one side and males on the other. Population numbers are shown for each five years intervals, starting with 0 to 4 years and continuing to 100 and above years. These intervals are grouped together into pre-reproductive 0 to 14 years, reproductive 15 to 44 years, and post-reproductive 45 and above years. Let's look at the construction of age sex pyramids. Now, we can construct population pyramids either using the absolute figures for each gender in each age group or using the numbers of each gender in each age group as a percentage of the total population. Let's start with method one, that of absolute figures. Consider a country like Kenya with a total population of 53,600,000 people and let us use the first five age groups to demonstrate these. In this method, we simply select a suitable scale to draw the bars. If we choose a scale of one centimeter to represent a million people, we can calculate the length of the bars for each gender in each age group. For example, zero to four years for the males we shall have 3,210,440 divided by a million. That gives us 3.2 centimeters. For the females, 3,140,281 divided by a million will give us 3.1 centimeters. Then we move to the next age group, 5 to 9 years. For the males, 2,940,050 divided by a million gives us 2.9 centimeters. For the female, 2,830,008 divided by a million will give us 2.8 centimeters. If we proceed like that, 10 to 14 years, the males, we shall have 2.6 centimeters. The females, we shall have 2.5 centimeters. Next age group, 15 to 19 years. For the males, 2,221,304 divided by a million. That will give us 2.2 centimeters. If we do the same for the females, we shall have 2.1 centimeters. Finally, 20 to 24 years. For the males, 1,845,944 divided by a million will give us 1.8 centimeters. We do the same for the females and we shall have 2.0 centimeters. And now we can replace this table with another one showing the lengths of the bars for each age group. We get ourselves a graph paper and we start by drawing these two lines. We fill the age groups. All we need now is to draw the bars. 0 to 4 years, the males 3.2, the females 3.1. 5 to 9 years, males 
females 2.8 10 to 14 years males 2.6 females 2.5 15 to 19 years males 2.2 females 2.1 20 to 24 years males 1.8 females 2.0 and we would proceed in the same manner for all the other age groups up to a hundred years and above. The next method is the percentage method. In this method, each group is represented as a percentage of the total population. We shall use the same data to do an example. Each gender in each group will be expressed as a percentage of 53,600,000. So for the first group, 0 to 4 years, males, 3,210,440 divided by 53,600,000 times 100. That gives us 6%. Females, 3,140,000. 281 divided by 53,600,000 times 100 gives us 5.9%. Next age group, 5 to 9 years. For the males, 2,940,050 divided by 53,600,000 times 100 gives us 5.5%. We do the same for the females and we get 5.3%. Next age group, for the males, 2,601,985 divided by 53,600,000 times 100 gives us 4.9%. We do the same for the females and we get 4.7%. Next age group, males, 2,221,304 divided by 53,600,000 times 100 gives us 4.1%. We do the same for the females and we get 4.0%. Lastly, 20 to 24 years, males, 1,000,000. 845,944 divided by 53,600,000 times 100 gives us 3.4%. We do the same for the females. 2,040,280 divided by 53,600,000 times 100 we get 3.8%. Now we can have a complete table of the percentages. The largest percentage is 6. So if we choose a scale of 1 cm to represent 1%, then we can have this graph paper. All we need now is to draw the corresponding lengths of the bars. 6.0, 5.9. 5.0, 5.9. 4.7, 4.1, 4.0, and 3.8. That way, we shall have our population or age sex pyramid. Now, let's talk about the analysis of population pyramids. Population pyramids tell us far more about a country or a region than just a set of numbers by showing where it has been and where it is headed. For example, Kenya's population pyramid shows that it is a fast-growing country, with most of the population being in the youngest age groups at the bottom of the pyramid. The number will continue to grow rapidly in the coming years. As today's children reach their reproductive years and have children of their own, the total population is almost certain to double within the next few decades. 
let's look at Canada, where most of the population is clustered around the middle of the graph. Because there are less people in the pre-reproductive age group than in the reproductive one, the population will grow more slowly as the number of people reaching their reproductive years declines. Finally, let's look at Japan. Because a majority of its population is in the post-reproductive years and the number of people is smaller at each younger interval, this means that at current rates of reproduction, the population will begin to decline as fewer and fewer people reach reproductive age. A population pyramid is not only a predictor of a country's future, but also a record of its past. Russia's population pyramid still bears the scars of World War II, which explains both fewer numbers of elderly men compared to elderly women and the relatively sudden population increase as soldiers returned from war and normal life resumed. China's population pyramid reflects the establishment of the one-child policy 35 years before, which prevented a population growth such as that of Kenya, but also led to the sex-selective abortions resulting in more male children than female children.